by Katie Barnes, May 4, 2018 ESPNW.com Undefeated and undisputed women's welterweight world champion Cecilia Brakus will be the first female to be featured on a televised HBO fight card when she faces Callie Reese on May 5 at the Stub Hub Center in Carson, California. Cecilia Brakus didn't know what home field advantage felt like until a year and a half ago. After lobbying for five years, Brake Hoos, 32-0, 9K zeros, the world's best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in women's boxing and the only undisputed champion in the sport, convinced her home country of Norway to lift its 33-year ban on boxing. Brake Hoos, 36, pressed administrators, neurologists and the Sports Federation for change, also she could feel the rush of walking out to the ring in a place she called home. And on October 1, 2016, she fought in Norway for the first time. It was magical, Brakehus said in a phone interview. It's the kind of moment you can't recreate, and on Saturday, Brakehus will achieve another milestone when she headlines the first women's boxing event to be televised by HBO, a welterweight title defense against Callie Reese the 1st of June 13, 4 KOs, on the Gennady Golovkin, 3701, 33 KOs, versus Vanis Martirosian, the 1st of March 36, 21 KOs, middleweight title fight undercard at the Sub Hub Center in Carson, California. Before HBO decided to televise it, it was originally scheduled for earlier in the day to accommodate the audience in Norway, where Brakehus fills 10,000 seat arenas and is one of the country's most popular athletes. Cecilia is one of the best fighters in the world. Period. Executive Vice President of HBO Sports Peter Nelson said via email. She deserves to be seen by as large an audience as possible. We are privileged that her debut on HBO coincides with ours in women's boxing, Brakehus, who was born in Cartagena, Colombia, but grew up in Bergen, Norway, after being adopted at age 2, began kickboxing when she was 13 and quickly took up boxing after that. She posted a 75-5 record as an amateur before signing her first professional contract in 2007, when she won her first four professional fights. She has held the WBA and WBC titles since 2009, and her fight against Reese marks her 22nd defense. Brakehus added the IBF belt in February 2016 with a victory over Chris Namis via unanimous decision. Her international success is now bringing opportunities in the United States. She said that she would be open to a boxing match against UFC featherweight champion Chris Cyborg Justino, in a women's version of the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor matchup. WBC and IBF super middleweight champion and two-time Olympic gold medalist Clarissa Shields has also called out Brakehus for a potential super fight. Shields is the first American woman boxer to break through to public consciousness since Layla Ali, a possible sign that American audiences may embrace women's boxing in similar fashion to what Brakehus has experienced in Europe. All around the world, women are filling up stadiums, having main fights, and being shown all over, Brakehus said. Normally, America is way ahead, and the rest of the world is following U.S. trends, but this is the opposite. Why it's taken so long, I don't have the explanation for that, but it's definitely about time, though Brakehus has been attached to this HBO card from the beginning, it has gone through multiple changes. Originally slated to be a pay-per-view event in Las Vegas featuring a rematch of Golovkin, 3701, 33 KOs, and Canelo Alvarez, the 2nd of January, 49, 34 KOs, the card was changed when Alvarez was suspended for six months following a pair of failed drug tests. HBO has always been considered the highest level platform for the sport of boxing, promoter Tom Loeffler said in a phone interview. Cecilia has certainly earned this opportunity. This is hopefully a door opener for more female fights, Brakehus said. We definitely want to put on a big show, as a pro, Brakehus is a creature of habit, which means, every morning you wake up and do your job, she says. Brakehus is not afraid to change things up, and her continued success is in part because of her adaptability. She spent seven years training in Germany, running in the snow and getting up early, Old East German style, she said. But to prepare for the Reese fight, Brakehus has been in Los Angeles working with former women's boxing star Lucia Rieger. This is the first time the two have worked together. You have to go after new challenges all the time, Brakehus said. You always have to try out new things, be curious, and set new goals. When not preparing for a fight, Brakehus calls Oslo, Norway, home. In her free time she travels and spends time with her friends and family, and also contributes to charity work, she's helping to build a school in Uganda with Bring Children from Streets, a 12-year project that predates her professional career.
Vitz boxing that continues to hold her attention. I have five belts and there are a lot of hungry girls coming for them, break who's